Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I want to show you how I made my Mandy's Heart Blanket. I received a few emails um, saying that you'd never seen how to work the half double crochet slip stitch. So I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick tutorial of a practice swatch so that you can easily get on your way. This is a really simple and pretty beginner friendly blanket. So first, notice that um, this is one side of the blanket and then this is the other. So it definitely has two sides, two different looks. And I just love how the, the slip stitch will give you this nice braid look across your fabric. Okay, so the yarn I used for the project is called Bernat Blanket. It's like this super nice chenille type yarn that's kind of like a bathrobe. Um, super cozy and nice when it's finished and the hook size that I that is recommended is a eight millimeter L 11 but I went up a hook a hook size for today is a nine but I've in the past I've even used a 10 millimeter hook because this is so chunky and sticky kind of it's easier to work with if it's just a little bit looser so you can choose any hook that you want of, of those sizes. Okay, so for today, I'm just started with 12 chains on my hook. We're gonna do a little sample swatch that will just be 10 stitches wide, but I put 12 chains on my hook. And in the we're gonna start in the third chain from the hook with a regular half double crochet. Your very first row will be all half double crochet. So I'm working my 10 half double crochets across the chain. And a half double crochet, in case oh, for my beginner friends, it is a yarn over, you're inserting your hook, you're yarning over and pulling up a loop, then you're yarning over and pulling through all three of those loops. Let me show that to you again. Yarning over, inserting my hook just underneath one of the loops of the chain, just the top. I'm pulling up a loop. I yarned over and pulled up a loop and I yarn over again and I pull through all three of those loops. So it's one little extra step. If you've only learned the single crochet so far, just one little extra step to get you to the half double crochet of you know, yarn over first before you insert your hook. Okay, and going forward throughout the rest of the pattern, we'll always be working into the back loops. Just want to say that now in case I forget to tell you that. Okay, if you are a beginner and you're unsure, go back and count the posts. Okay, what I want you to see is that we'll have those two chains that we skipped over. Going forward, those will be called the turning chains. So then we should have 10 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I like to just count the post of the stitch. Keeps me, it's sometimes a little bit easier. I get confused on the V's at the top. So just count that this is called the post of a stitch. Okay, I'm gonna chain two and turn and this will be my first row of the half double crochet slip stitch. So you'll have your two chains. You don't work into those. You'll never work into those two chains. You're going to always work into the top of the first stitch from the row below. If it helps you to count, go ahead and count to the third little V. So you'll have one, two, three, and you'll always work into the back loop. And so what that means is that First, you'll yarn over, you'll split those V's in half that you see and just work underneath the one furthest away from you. That's considered the back loop. And you'll yarn over and pull up a loop. And instead of yarning over again, like a half double crochet, you're just going to continue pulling that loop through. Okay, let's try this again. Yarning over. I'm inserting my hook just underneath that back loop. I'm yarning over and pulling up a loop. 
And then I'm going to continue to pull that loop through, just like that. Yarning over, working under the back loop, yarning over and pulling up a loop. And I kind of do get them all up to one level. And sometimes I, I kind of have to pinch this to, in order to get it to go through for me. You'll have to see what works for you. But it can be, um, you got to kind of get into a little rhythm of it. It can be a little tricky at first. So I call this stitch the half double crochet slip stitch mainly and, and somebody, oh gosh, after I published this, you know, I, I made this blanket almost a year ago for my friend Mandy and somebody told me that it's called, maybe they call it the half double slip stitch. I just can't remember, but if you call it something different. Let me know. Half double slip stitch. I can't remember. Anyway, okay. Here I am in the last one. Go back and make sure you have your 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I just want you to be careful because sometimes with this yarn, it is really tricky to see that last stitch. I just want you to remember that those turning chains, you don't ever work into the tops of them. They're just there to provide you height. They're not a stitch. I want you to just work into the stitches, into the tops. Okay, and always into the back loop. So this row will be a regular half double crochet row. So we're back to what we started with, with on that starting chain. I'm yarning over. I'm inserting my hook just under the back loop. I'm yarning over, pulling up, and I'm pulling through all three loops on my hook. Okay, one more tip I want to give you for this blanket because it is gets pretty mindless and once you're going and you're listening to a great book on Audible or you're watching TV, um, I made the mistake of doing two half double crochets in a row without realizing it and that got my braids all messed up you start putting them on the other side of the blanket because then I went back to alternating and I didn't realize it so here's my tip when you turn your work and you recognize that the this starting tail is over here on your right or it's right underneath where you turn that will tell you it is time to do a slip stitch row so if it's over on the other side, you'll know to do just half double crochet. But just keep in mind that when the tail is over here on your right hand side, then you will be doing the slip stitch. And that way, your little braid will always be on the same side of the work. That's why I was saying there's two different sides to this blanket and you want to keep it straight just like that. Oh, I think when I originally made the blanket, I had to undo probably six or seven rows because I just didn't realize it until six or seven rows later. Ah, oh, I hate when I do that, but whatever. I took it out and I just redid it. So, and then that's what I was like, okay, hey, I've got a way. I've got to figure out a way to keep track. And that was the easiest way is to just pay attention to the starting tail. Okay, did you see how that was a little bit tricky for me to find that last stitch? It can get buried down in there, so be really careful. Okay, let me turn this around, and you can see how we have got those adorable, I guess not adorable, but they just look so cool to have those Vs go across. Here's my sample swatch. I've got one extra row of half double crochet done. So always working into the back loop. Um, there is no pattern repeat. Uh, my starting chain for this blanket was 102. That way I kept track of 100 um, stitches and it turned out to be about a 40 inch by 60 uh, inch blanket, which was super nice. I would work, if you wanna just do your own number of chains to however it is worked like more lengthwise or you know vertical make your chain long so that you just go so many shorter rows wide is what i'm saying i think i worked 56 rows wide so anyway um 
that is all I think you need to know. I did a simple single crochet border. That's what you're seeing and on the on the picture that I'm attaching to this video. But if you'd like to see more pictures of the blanket, it's daisyfarmcrafts.com. I will put a link in the descriptions here on YouTube. But if you can't find those, all you need to do is Google Daisy Farm Crafts Mandy's Heart Blanket and you should find the blog post should pop right up for you with all the details about the blanket and everything you will need. Um, thank you so much everybody for your kind comments and following us on Daisy Farm Crafts. It has been so much fun for Hannah and I to design these blankets and share them with you. If you do make a Mandy's Heart Blanket, feel free to hashtag it Daisy Farm Crafts if you're on Instagram. I love to share your blankets up in my stories uh, every Sunday. And then on Facebook, you can share them straight to my Daisy Farm Craft page. And I love to share them with the followers there. So super fun. And I think that's it for today. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.